scallops is like a um appetizer. Mm -hmm. Now you think that was okay? What am I do with it? What am I do with it? Why would this? She's stupid for real. What am I doing too? Hey y'all. I can't give nobody none. This dingy person, Instacart. I swear, Instacart. Why are you gonna bring me two clusters? Why would you bring me two clusters? You don't have to come cook for me. I could cook for myself. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, childish. Hey, how you been? I didn't care to go on this twice and I ain't seen you. I don't know if I'm coming back out there um, soon, but I sure ain't seen you not, ne not neither time. And I came out there for R&B night and I thought for sure. I was gonna run into you. I ain't gonna lie, and I ain't seen you. Hey. <laughs> Wait, that was a movie I was about to watch. No, it's not that it's food and I don't want it. It's that they didn't give me enough. You don't need me back over there. That's not my home no more. I bought a house. I will. Um, but I did have you in mind because I was like, I wonder if he uh still doing the parties. <laughs> What's for dinner? I'm doing a seafood boil. Because I was going to order it, but the restaurant too high. So I just got groceries. Oh, yeah, but the green culinary art. Okay. What's up, Philly? How you doing? You love how I talk. I appreciate it. Wait a minute. How two of you just going to decide on what movie I watch? What's up? I didn't, I didn't pick this. Yeah, my accent kind of strong. <laughs> my accent very strong. Oh yeah, I definitely don't want to watch that. Um, I appreciate it. Um, Jay, you want to watch this Tubi movie with me? Beautiful accent, thank you. I'm not reading a text message. You gotta respond. I'm not reading it. And you knew I was. I appreciate it. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey. I'm not reading the messages. Are you going to watch it or what? Why not? <laughs> it's a good one. It's a new one. I already watched The Shy. I want to watch. They got this new Tubi movie out that I want to watch. I look for I look for new Tubi movies. Y'all got to admit, once y'all run through the top 10 on Netflix and shit, all that shit get boring. You got to be real. Why would y'all dot, dot, dot me like that? I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> y'all got to admit, the lineup on Tubi is nice. And on top of that, when they play another movie behind the movie that you watch, 
they kind of be on point with it. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> but oh yeah, yeah, I be on too, baby. And then, um, not to mention, it's a whole lot of um black people that uh have created these projects. So why not give them a stream? Why not give them some support? Support our people, baby. <laughs> Hey, A.T., how you doing? Okay. What am I about to do first? I wish I had some fruit. A.T., I love you too. And I just wanted to make sure that you smile and that you know that people love you and support you. Because never in my life... Y'all, let me tell y'all, for the premiere in Atlanta, my auntie, shout out to my auntie, y'all. I'm about to, I'm about to pin her. Um, I'm about to pin her comment. Y'all, for the premiere in Atlanta, my auntie pulled up on us. She gave us gift bags, shirts that said uh, the Dirty D. She had a glass in there for me with my name on it. Like, it was literally personalized, like... It wasn't just Dirty D on there. Like, our names were on our stuff. I've never in my life had nobody, not even my family, to, like, gift me or support me like that. Like, she really pulled up, and she had so many gifts for us, and I was so appreciative of her. And she sent me DMs all the time. She gave me, like, suggestions about things, like business things that I should do or try. She gave me positive words every day. Like, people like that come for a few and in between, and people like that should be celebrated, like, at all times. That was my first time in my life ever meeting up. She gave me the biggest hug that she could possibly give. I didn't even want to let her go. She had me crying. I started crying a little bit. I was already a little bit emotional. But she had me crying, like, it was just so sweet, so beautiful. So I sent her some flowers because I just wanted her to know that I love her back and I appreciate her support and I appreciate her love. I said, please send me the address. Let me send you some flowers. And she received them and I'm so happy that she received them. I'm so happy she got her flowers and I'm so happy that it made her cry tears of joy. Y'all, stop celebrating people when they did. Stop giving people flowers when they did. Stop taking advantage and taking good people for granted. Don't do that. Give people their flowers while they can still smell them. Tell your people you love them. Tell people, like, the good things about themselves. I mean, sometimes you got to tell people some stuff when they got you messed up. But we're not worrying about that right now. <laughs> when people are good to you, you be good back to them, y'all. That's all that I'm saying. Like, I really believe in... uh karmic energy i really believe in energy transfer i really believe in all of that so i'm i'm even very particular about people who in rooms that i share energy with because they can also be energy leechers like they can just suck you dry of all the goodness that you got in you and they still gonna be evil as hell some people you just can't help so you stay away from them you pray from a distance and you protect yourself and you protect your energy at all costs. Hey friend, I see you. Um, but see the people that are good and have good energy, hold on to them, keep transferring that good energy. Sometimes you can't help what energy you around because I mean you gotta get certain things, you know, done taken care of. You gotta deal with all sorts of people in this world. But just keep yourself protected, keep yourself, you know, grounded, stay prayed up, and just you know, try to control your energy as best you could and don't allow the negativity of this world and of some people to get the best of you. So, A.T., I love you so much. You changed my energy on that night and you didn't even know it. And I appreciate you so much. So, that's not going to be the first time or the last time that you get flowers from me. Because as long as you keep on giving me my flowers, I'm giving them right back to you. I promise you, A.T. I promise. <laughs> But y'all, y'all gotta, the one thing I could feel, I could say though, is like, love you too, TV. Um, one thing I say too is like, um, damn, how could I put this? 
Um, how could I put this? Um, meet people where they at, accept people for who they are, and understand who you're dealing with, know who you're dealing with, and even though we all human, we're gonna fuck up sometimes. For the most part, try your hardest to um to do the best that you can and be the best version of yourself that you could be. Sometimes, you know, you fuck up. Real niggas fuck up too. But forgive yourself, dust yourself off, and keep pushing. Keep pushing. Plug into the people that um uh, first plug into God, then ask for your discernment, then from there plug into the people that will actually give you the real, not no yes men. Plug in the people that's gonna give you the real. Like y'all don't be wanting to hear that shit because y'all don't really be wanting to be held accountable the way that your accountability partners will hold you accountable. Y'all don't be wanting to hear that shit because who wants to hear when they wrong? But you got to hear when you wrong. But, sh- but, you know, if it's coming from a good place with good intention, then, I mean, everything is everything. Thank you for the badge. I mean, I'm I'm being so sincere because it's like... Um, nowadays, everybody want to be right and nobody don't want to hear about their wrongs. Um, I know I be wrong. (laughs) I don't want to hear that shit. Like yesterday, I was wrong about something. Um, I connected with an energy I had no, um, I had, I connected with someone I had no, reason connected with and that was the energy vampire i called my sister which is my accountability partner and at the time i was still going through some shit like my day was hectic yesterday and she was like well you know you ain't had no business and i'm like listen sis i love you but not right now not at this moment let me get in a better space oh she couldn't wait till i got in that better space she was like you good you good i'm sorry my time wasn't right whatever but you good right now and i'm like yeah i'm good right now she got on my ass and i'm like you right and i needed that (laughs) you right and i needed that and you know you got to be mindful of who you take advice from but you also got to be mindful of who you vent to because not everybody have your best interest at heart some people just want to watch you fail and they want to laugh at your fails or they're, they're asking you how are things going with things that you got going on. They're not asking you that for an update on your life. They're asking you that because they're taking notes because they're about to steal your shit, try to do it they self. Like, <laughs> it's just so many things out here. Like, people just don't have good intentions these days. Like, they don't have enough, um, they don't have enough. I don't know, something within themselves to be able to do certain things that might come easy to you. So they'll pick your brain like in a sneaky ass way and then they'll take your ideas, your original shit, and then they try to run with it. And it might work for a little while, but then when it's time to do a phase two, I mean, if that person who you just stole the idea from is not still around, then what you going to do about it? that like you know what i'm saying god gives certain people ideas for different reasons and if god gave that person that idea he also gave them that plan and that pathway in order to do whatever it is that needs to be done in order to make that idea real that was god's plan for them so when people try to steal other people's things and don't understand why it don't work or it'll work, but it won't work for a little while. It's because that was not for you. That wasn't ordained for you. That was for somebody else. You stole it. <laughs> and people don't understand why it don't work. That's why it don't work. When God gave you your ideas, why you didn't run with your ideas? God was going to give you everything you needed to run with your ideas, but you don't have enough in you, enough faith within yourself, enough trust within yourself to do what God trying to give you to do, but you want to go take somebody else's stuff and try to do this. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But anyways, yeah, it's really a word though. It's really a word because I had somebody that said that when they watch everything that I have accomplished, 
it makes them proud because they feel like they were a part of that. And if they watch it from their fake page, hey, how you doing? Because they're blocked for a reason. <laughs> but it's like so many people will try to take credit for the things that God had destined for you already. It was already going to be yours. Anything that God give you is yours. Ain't nobody can take that away from you. Can't nobody detour. Can't nobody do nothing about it. It's going to happen because it's for you. So many people out here want to try to take credit for the things that you get done, for the things that you do, for the ideas that God put in your mind for you to get done. And then they want to try to come around and say, oh, well, I was the reason for it or something like, come on now. Like, how you going to try to take credit from God? That's crazy. That's crazy to me. But I don't know, y'all. I'm about to start cooking. Y'all have a great blessed day. That's all I have for y'all today. <laughs> Love y'all.